Do go and check it out. One more film that has been in cinemas for a couple of days across this week at the Tyneside. Of course, it was a Tyneside. It's such a Tyneside film. Yeah. Uh, and it's, I think, on Blu ray and DVD now as well. You yeah, can go and is, check it, it out. Uh, this is Camera Person. So, Kirsten Johnson is a documentarian. She uh, is a camera person. She's the, <laughs> she's the camera person. I would never have thought. Uh, it's a 25 year career of hers when she kind of got all this footage that she's taken from films. Uh, four films that she's obviously been as a part of a crew for and she's made her own film which is just snippets of all these films that she's done snippets with virtually no context we just sort of get these real human snapshots snapshots there's kind of nothing more than that um it, it moves at quite a fast pace but at a steady pace at the same time it knows how long to leave certain things some of the traumas that it goes through i mean it, it it's it's i saw a letterbox thing that said today like it's almost a joke in just how much it escalates how grim it gets like it, it, everything's sort of separated by title cards that tells you where it is what it is and it does just seem to get more and more bleak mm. as the film goes on uh but captures human life in the most horrific ways but also in the most uplifting ways as well i mean it's not all bad stuff. I make it sound like it is all bad, and it is a lot of it is really, really traumatic and stuff. But generally speaking, um, it's just the human nature and the, and the way it observes people. I mean, we, we, you don't hear from us just how much we love cinema and the, the, the yeah. things you can do with a cinema camera and the power of cinema as a, as a medium. Um, I mean, we've got a cameraman right here. And we've mm. yeah yeah exactly oh yeah I forgot about <laughs> and, and yeah but it, doc- documentary is such a powerful tool and the things that she has seen over the years it kind of defies belief and to get an insight into that amazing life it's described as a memoir uh, and that and that's kind of the, the the best way to call it I would describe it as woman with a movie camera mm. that was my first thought when I saw it if if you if you're gonna take the sort of concept of that film which is what 1920s. But yeah, twenties, I think. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's like a sort of montage film, lots it's of different just, it's techniques. It's just I can't words can't describe it in the time I've got. No, really. and and considering like the sort of time it was, how innovative the entire film is, what it covers in like 75 minutes is incredible. This kind of feels like uh, in the same DNA. It feels like a modern day retelling of that, but through a documentarian's eyes, just going through life and it's, it's just it gets very personal like with her own life as well there's a whole sort of thing running through with her own mother who battles um sort of dementia and memory loss so while the film deals very deeply in memories it also deals in memory loss mm. fantastic i mean it, it's already in the criterion collection mm. it well, came out last year it went straight in uh, there's a quote here that somebody put online. Uh, Though Johnson rarely witnesses a violent act, she captures the echoes of them, recording others as they account their experiences and visiting the sites of those horrors. Mm. Brilliant. Uh, that's Camera Person. It's on Blu-ray and DVD now. Tyneside did show it, so there's always a chance they could bring it back at some point. Uh, if you do, if you do want to go.